Okay, so we're going to learn how to move objects in SAP. And the reason why this might come in useful is if we messed up. So originally in our, our CAD session 2 model, we pretty much made an incorrect dimension bridge. So if you open up the 2015 AISC, AC, or whichever competition, it's got to be you know, steel bridge competition rules, you scroll on you all the way down, you know. And you'll notice that, you know, our bridge is actually a little too short. So I went ahead and already set it so that as you turn on the staging yard, you'll notice that yeah, our bridge is a little too short. So I mean it lands like dead in the river and we need it to go from one footing to the other footing and it's all based on the dimensions that they give you. So we could have done this preemptively so hopefully in the future you know you guys will just make this first and then design your bridge accordingly to whatever those dimensions will be. Um, but yeah we were pretty off. So let's say we want to figure out you know how far we need to move this so that basically when we go back to uh, SAP, we know how to move it um, in SAP as well. So let's go back to CAD. Moving things is a little difficult because we don't have this drawn in SAP. We do have an AutoCAD, so we can use AutoCAD um, to move it. So let's go to our layers. Uh, let's draw some deck points. So I'm going to try to make it dead center of the foot. I'm going to draw a line from there to there. Uh, make sure that our staging yard is locked, which it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select our members. Uh, let's see. Make sure all that's locked in. All right, and it says we're going to move it 90, uh, 94 inches along the positive x-axis over here. But how would I know that? Because if I move it, I'm go here, make sure ortho is on, type in 94, and bam, that looks, you know, that looks about right. But how would I know that? Well, that's what the line is for. We're going to go ahead and use our distance tool by typing dist, and we're going to go from the center to that or the midpoint to the midpoint and it tells us delta x is 94 so that sort of verifies that this is indeed correct. I'm going to go ahead and select all of that um, press M, press enter move along the positive x in ortho mode type 94 and we don't need this line anymore. So now we got a well, we have a gap to fill basically because we messed up that bad. So we're going to have to pretty much um, fill that gap in later on. But now we know how far we need to move it in SAP. So we're going to go back to SAP. And we're going to select um, that half of the bridge. So let's see, that's our Y. Oh. Just make sure this is right. So we can view. We're gonna grab this half, and um, you can hit Control M, and top it uh, brings up this little move thing. And you can type in 94, and it should move it positive 94 away from where it originally was. So if we go to See, it's selected again. We should be able to go to um, Edit and go to Move, and that'll give you the same menu. So if you forget, if you forget Control M, you can also just, you know, go to the Edit, go to Move, click OK, and now we've successfully moved it. What you'll really appreciate, I think, um, is the fact that. You hit Control G um, to 
select your webbing group, your webbing is still there. So that's the handy part about this. It'll still keep your groupings or whatever material properties you set. Um, just a reminder, you know, material properties are going to be here for like frame sections, and you're going to add new property, and then, um, well, you're going to go ahead and assign frame sections afterwards, and then add a new property, and then, oops, okay, ignore that, but that's one of the main important, uh, important things about grouping, um, because if, let's say, you didn't group then you had to do a lot of things all over again and this is also another reason why we used um, add to group so you go back to control shift G Excuse me. If, uh, it lets me or oops control G a little buggy. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, assign. So there's always an add to group thing. So when you you can't add nothing to the group, so yeah, always go to add to group because there's a little void in between. So you can see that. But we're gonna fill that in. But we're gonna use AutoCAD to do that, and we'll be doing that in the next session.